folks in this video i will walk you through the upgrade of uh, java so so this is uh, my uh, cloudera manager window so i can uh, find out uh, the which version of java it is using so go to the support then uh, select about so here you can see the version of java it's a 1.7.0 so this is the version the cloudera manager is using and again if you log into the console uh, for each and every node okay so you can see that uh, from the process status which version so ps iphone ef grep uh, I, I can just use name node okay so i just need to check which version of a uh, java or jdk is this name node service is using okay so this is the java version which is using okay also i can check cloudera okay so i think uh, this is a cloudera manager no that, that is not matching okay uh, so you can see uh, or else if you just check with the java you can see a lot of uh, process so all are running by using this version so you can see everywhere this is the path so now here uh, what we are going to do so we are going to upgrade the java so also you need to make sure okay so your cloudera manager and cdh is in support with new version so i'm going to upgrade uh, it 1.7 to 1.8 but before that we need to make sure all the prerequisites are in place i mean uh, so this is in support okay so you can just check uh, update upgrade jdk using cloud man cloudera manager you can just click this link and uh, uh, walk through so so these are the steps okay and again uh, so you need to check the version there is some uh, dependencies uh, like a uh, upgrading jdk 1.8 yeah upgrade to 5.3 because i think jdk 1.8 uh, is supported by 5.3 onwards so you need to make sure your cloudera manager and cdh is uh, 5.3 or above so here in our case so cdh is 5.12 and cloudera manager also so the cloudera manager version is 5.12 so we are okay with uh, these two steps then uh, stop all cloudera management services stop cluster then clo stop cloudera manager agents and uh, server okay so we we can do that so first uh, let's stop all the services here stop so again that takes some time so meanwhile uh, let's try to download uh, the latest jdk and uh, transfer to this machine so we will use that uh, just to download uh, jdk 1.8 do search then uh, first link itself ok and then uh, select ok the first you can see uh, jdk is the development kit and uh, second is the so you need to go to the first one and uh, make sure you select linux 64 ok so we have for linux 64 we have rpm and tar.gz so i i have selected tar.gz so accept this license agreement and then click this start.gz make sure you are selected x64 okay again so once it downloaded it takes some time to download that so wait until that then once it is uh, downloaded so you can transfer these files to all the nodes in the cluster okay so that's it uh, this is uh, st I, I stop this one then now I can stop this management services also stop okay so the same time uh, let me uh, try to uh, transfer this file by using WinSCP. i don't have win scp one sec okay i downloaded from uh, in into my uh, local desktop so i need to transfer these files to uh, uh, my machine so i am using win scp over here so host name so let me uh, transfer to one by one <coughs> so take the master machine ip address okay so i need to copy this one and uh, paste it here then the username is root 
then go to the advance then uh, authentication then use the uh, key go to the desktop my key I can use then ok then uh, login so I use uh, this key because uh, my machine does not support uh, username password based authentication so I'll, I'll go to my uh, directory here I think I have to go a little bit up mm. okay in this directory so install bits jdk so I am copying to here okay similarly you have to copy the same uh, files to all the machines okay so again it takes some time so I'm just pausing the recording for a while so we can let this process to run in background and uh, we'll go to each and every node and uh, stop Cloudera manager agent and uh, server services so service Cloudera iPhone SCCM iPhone server stop okay service Cloudera iPhone SCCM iPhone agent stop so do the same thing I mean uh, agent stop command on all the nodes because we have a Cloudera man a manager server installed on one machine and agent on all other machines so go to the node one so login with your credentials root then service cloudera iphone sscm iphone agent stop that's it then go to the next node node 2 ok so login with the root then same time let me login node 3 also ok service cloudera ssm iphone agent stop yes login with the root so service cloudera iphone ssm iphone agent stop stop all the cloudera related services and uh, make sure so you have uh, stopped your cloudera server server uh, cloudera ssm server and cloudera ssm agents across all the machines okay now the files uh, uh, file uh, this jdk uh, zip file is copied to all the nodes okay so let's unzip so normally the cloudera keeps uh, that jdk under slash user java directory okay so it's 1.7 so let's unzip to under this directory so tar zx vf then this one hyphen c and use the location this one okay so it takes time so same way uh, do it on the other machines also here so tar zx vf jdk iphone c that it then node 2 also tar zx vf jdk iphone c and the location and go to the third last one tar zx vf jdk iphone c this location so now we have our new jdk under slash user java and here you can see uh, 1.8 okay so i'm going to uh, make this as uh, my version in uh, my uh, for my uh, hadoop cluster okay so for that first go to the uh, cloudera manager server node and go to uh, et uh, open this file vim slash etc default cloudera sscm server and uh, here okay so change this java underscore home to the new java path ok 
ओके सो और जावा पाथ इज स्लैश यूसर जावा जे डी के वन पॉइंट एट ओके सो दिस इज द डायरेक्टरी सो यू वी नीड टू कॉपी दिस गेट दिस डायरेक्टरी एंड अपडेट इट हियर ओके सो आई एम रिप्लेसिंग दिस ओल्ड वन विथ न्यू वन सपोज इफ दिस वैल्यू इज नॉट दर सो यू कैन एड अ न्यू एंट्री लाइक एक्सपोर्ट जावा अंडर स्कोर होम इक्वल टू दिस लोकेशन ओके सेव दैट फाइल देन स्टार्ट द क्लाउडरा मैनेजर सर्वर सर्विस सर्विस क्लाउडरा आईफन एस एस सी एम आई फन सर्वर स्टार्ट विल गो बैक टू द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन पेज एंड सी वाट आर द स्टेप्स पेंडिंग ओके सो सपोर्टेड वर्शन दैट्स इट देन वी हैव टू स्टार्ट सर्वर एंड एजेंट्स so let me start the agents also okay service cloudera iphon ssm okay so before that let me so we'll i have to make sure so it is pointing to 1.8 so ps iphon ef grep cloudera see i can see it is pointing to 1.8 okay so my cloudera manager server is running with 1.8 so service cloudera iphon ssm iphon agent check the status it stopped so i need to start that okay so do this thing on all the machines so do it on the last node also done so now wait uh, some time and open the cloudera manager web console okay so that's it the step uh, then configuring custom java home so this is the step we need to do next okay so we can open this link and see how we can add a custom java underscore home so that is very simple go to the host and advanced configuration tab and java home directory so we will wait till this cloudera manager is uh, up and running again so it takes some time so we can check telnet local host Seven one eight zero. Yes, I think it started. So now uh, login here. So admin. Admin. So uh, we'll open. I uh, will. We'll go to this one. Host. All host. then uh, go to the configuration then uh, search java okay so java home directory use the di uh, sorry use the new java home directory so make sure so you are keeping the java in the same location across all the nodes slash user java jdk 1.8 so this is the version which i am using here then paste it here then save okay just search with the java in this configuration then use that directory save it uh, that's it now uh, we can start the services one by one then first start the cloudera manager uh, management services so it take uh, some time so it has to start a couple of services Okay, so wait some time till this finish. Okay, my uh, Cloudera management services are up and running, so you can see the status. Go to the instance, and it's showing everything green. So now uh, I can uh, start my uh, the remaining uh, cluster services also here. Start. So again, it take uh, time depending on the number of uh, components. ecosystem components you have in your machine so it takes some time so now uh, this is started okay so now all uh, my services are up and running i think uh, except you okay that's that's also up and running so we'll uh, check the version here so get about so it's pointing to 1.8.0 also uh, we can check and make sure it is uh, using in backend so ps hyphen ef and you can search with the keyword java 
uh, so you can see all the services is using uh, web cat data node uh, so or whatever the service is running it's all using 1.8.0 only so we can go and verify in other machines also so ps and ef grub data node. okay so let let me check with the data node uh, yes that uh, node okay uh, okay yeah HDFS DVC dot TXC okay, so let let's check it with the PS iPhone EF grab Java and see all these other services are also resource manager and history server all the services are using uh, the JDK 1.8 so that's it we have upgraded to jdk uh, 1.8 from 1.7 so i hope uh, you like uh, the content so if you like it so please uh, press click the like button and also subscribe to my channel so thanks for watching bye